Hi everybody, this is Greg Gordillo, and today I want to talk with you about four uh, estate planning documents that no entrepreneur should be without. You know, most entrepreneurs understand the value of effective business planning, but few are aware of the critical role that estate planning plays in their company's success. Yet, considering what would happen to your business upon your death or incapacity, Estate planning is one of the single most important things you can do for your business. Without a proper estate plan, the business you work so hard to build could be in serious jeopardy should something happen to you. What's more, because your business is likely your most valuable asset, estate planning is vital not only to your company's continued survival, but your family's future well-being as well. Fortunately, you can shield your company and your family from such consequences by putting in place a few basic estate planning tools. Now, although you should consult with an estate planning professional like us to determine the specific planning vehicles best suited for your particular situation, there are four tools that are among the most essential for small business owners. So let's talk about the first one, the living trust. Putting your company in a living trust is one of the best ways to ensure your business's continued success upon your death or in the event of your incapacity. Unlike a will, assets held in trust are not required to go through probate and are immediately transferred to the person or persons of your choice in the event of your death or your incapacity. Now, should something happen to you, a trust would allow for the smooth transition of control of your company without the time and the expense that's associated with probate or guardianship. Using a trust, you can choose who you want to run your company in your absence, whether your absence is permanent because of your death or if it's temporary because of your incapacity. Now, another reason that you might likely want a living trust is that trusts are not open to the public. So your company's affairs would remain private and transfer of ownership would take place in your lawyer's office, not in a public courtroom. Now let's talk about the second estate planning document you'll want. It's a business succession plan. Creating a business succession plan can help ensure your operation doesn't fall apart when you pass on. Beyond simply naming a successor, a comprehensive succession plan provides stability and security by allowing you to lay out explicit instructions for how the company should be run. From specifying how ownership should be transferred and providing rules for compensation to establishing dispute resolution procedures, an effective succession plan can provide the new owner with a detailed roadmap for your company's continued success. A third estate planning document for entrepreneurs is called a buy-sell agreement. This is a really important document um, if you share your business with one or more other people in which case you'll likely want to prepare a buy-sell agreement. A buy-sell agreement ensures that upon certain conditions like your death or permanent incapacity, that the remaining owners are able to purchase your shares of the business or the buy-sell agreement can stipulate that your shares would pass to your heirs. In this way, a properly drafted buy-sell agreement can prevent your family members from getting stuck owning a business they don't want and they can't sell. And it protects your surviving partners from being forced to deal with new owners that they didn't count on. Finally, the fourth important estate planning document for entrepreneurs is a life insurance policy. Unless your business generates significant cash flow and will continue to do so upon your death, that income might not be enough to financially provide for your loved ones. To offer a safety net for your family, your team, and your customers, invest in life insurance to provide liquidity while your family handles your affairs and your successor assumes control. If your company has multiple owners, you can pair a life insurance policy on each partner with your buy-sell agreement. That way, 
Your remaining partners can buy out your shares at a previously agreed upon price, and the life insurance can help uh, with, for the buyout. Listen, don't put your business at risk. If you haven't created a proper estate plan, your business is missing one of its most essential components. As a family business lawyer, I can help you choose, put in place, and maintain the, the planning vehicles that are best suited for your particular circumstances. If you like this video, please hit the like button, uh, subscribe, um, and by all means, if you'd like to speak with me, visit us at, uh, on the web at www.newvisionlaw.com where you can schedule an appointment to talk with me today. Thanks everybody, stay safe and stay healthy.